uh, Daily Star reported that Sophie Anderson said, My son isn't happy about porn career, but I'll do anything to provide for my kids. She claims that she'll do anything to provide for her children, but does that include gaining employment outside the porn industry? The newsletter reported that the Boston Tapes recorded Brandon Hughes stating that it was not the intention of the IRA to kill civilians on Bloody Friday. Russia Today reported that woke academics insist that identifying the sex of ancient remains must stop and if they get their way it will be a disaster for science. The Guardian reported that a chess robot broke the finger of its seven year old opponent. Newsweek reported that Gorbachev feels his life's work is being destroyed by Putin. The Independent reported that Molly McCann led Fuck the Tories chant after winning by knockout at UFC London. The Daily Mail reported that Stonewall advocated trans and two year olds. This is grooming and sexual abuse of children. The Economic Times reported that First Avenue Minneapolis cancelled Dave Chappelle's show. The New York Post reported, as did Tucker Carlson and Jesse Waters, that Kathy Hochul, governor of New York, incited a homicidal attack on her gubernatorial opponent, Lee Selden. David Jacobinus was released hours later. Quinnipiac found that Biden's approval rating is 31% and his disapproval rating is 60%. This is his lowest approval rating. Let's go Brandon. CNN Business reported that China's middle class is bigger than America's. This is evidence that socialism is better than capitalism for upward social mobility and it is better for the working class to improve their social economic conditions. Almaya Dean reported that Iran's foreign minister said the only thing the Zionist state understands is force and normalizing relations with the Zionist state is treason. I agree completely. The Irish Independent reported that a listener complained to RTE about Ronan Collins playing O Holy Night, claiming it discriminated against non-Christians. So you're more upset and offended by that than the transing of kids. Your priorities are misguided at best.
Yahoo Finance reported that China put farm banks on notice, creating internal Communist Party committees could be the cost of doing business. And to that I say, good. PV Magazine reported that Panasonic plans a $4 billion electric vehicle battery factory in Kansas City. Now, note well that this is after the coup in Bolivia and as the regime change war against Somalia is ongoing. CBS reported that an employer of a Michigan mother fired her by text when her son was on life support. That's capitalism for you. Reuters reported that Cuba developed a successful treatment for Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Yet capitalists tell us that socialised medicine doesn't work. That's nonsense, of course. The Guardian reported that the oil industry has made $3 billion a day in profit for the last 50 years. New York Post reported that a man wasted $10,000 on OnlyFans, or on OnlyFans, I beg your pardon, while his girlfriend nursed their child. No morality or ethics whatsoever. The Week reported that Britney Spears called for welfare distribution and a general strike on Instagram. She's correct. The Washington Times reported that the Right to Contraception Act passed the House by 228 to 195 votes. Cheney, Mace, Upton, Kinziger, Katko, Fitzpatrick, Salazar, and Gonzalez voted for making access to abortive fashions a right and to infringe on free exercise. Tell me more about how the GOP is pro-life and stands for religious liberty. Tell me more about that. Bloomberg reported that China reduced as much air pollution in seven years as the United States did in three decades. The New York Times reported that Ukraine tries to make the case that it can win citing recent strikes. That is the quiet part said out loud. Ukraine cannot win the war and it is making desperate and flailing attempts to persuade its allies that it has the ability to.